Alright, I'm going to be using a 2 inch indexable end mill. Two and a half by inch and a half. Use inch and a quarter parallels. Two factory edges there will be close enough to start from. We'll put something in the front. So that'll have a three point contact. Make up for any discrepancies there. sides. Okay. The Dioro one.
satch look on that. Okay, we're going to take about 20 thou off. Nice and smooth. Camera picks up the the cross hatching there. My mail could be trimmed in a bit. So that piece is squared up. I got a couple more to do. I'll bring it back to do some dovetail, high grooves and all of them. Factory. We're going to be referencing off the two sides that are faced. In this operation we're going to be putting a half inch deep, half inch uh, slot in it and then we'll take a five thousandths cut to make it a little wider just to clean up the bottom edge where the tool sits. Alright, we are uh, we're going to set our y-axis Three hundred thousandths of an inch in. All right, here we go. operation is rather than uh, the big end mill cutter. The chips kind of stay on the table. It's nice. Running this around 700 RPM. Speeds and feeds are all about uh, the faster you go, the faster you feed. I'm in no rush here. So I'll keep my spindle speeds down. Here we'll go up another 100 thou. 200, come back in the other direction. It's a high speed tool, so I'm trying just to keep it uh, 
from heating up too much. The chips, you want to keep them very light brown to silver. The high speed steel doesn't like the heat. is not too bad. I'll bring you back for the next operation which will be uh, the dovetails. <laughs> 